Hello, I'm FTX Toy Cat, and on this day in 2012, my Let's Play world was created for the very first time. I've changed how I play Minecraft a lot in those eight years, but the one thing that hasn't changed is the world I play it in, so we can see all of these weird things side by side together. It's kind of beautiful to look at, but you know what? I've really been planning for a really long time. I wanted to do something special for the anniversary, and that involves me getting some gunpowder. It's a good thing I made a creeper farm over here, huh? So I can grab all of the gunpowder we've collected. Maybe craft it together with some sand. I mean, it makes a pretty uh, interesting looking block, some would say. And then to do something I've waited eight years for. That's right, I've hated this house the entire time. It's so ugly, how could anyone not hate it? So we're gonna just, uh, you know, maybe load it up with some TNT, maybe place it all around the perimeter, make sure that as little as possible, uh, you know, we can make survive, does survive. And then maybe, just maybe, we could accidentally start a house house fire oh what a tragedy this this house fire is i really hope that it doesn't spread oh what a i should put out that house fire immediately oh no it it gathered onto the tnt oh this is oh no no my house it's it's all going away oh also some cats that is actually a tragedy and uh <laughs> you know what yeah I, today we're blowing up the let's play world and you know what this is what you need to do sometimes you need to acknowledge that you've got to start new you've got to find new cats that haven't been exploded by TNT. I mean, if they're not blast proof, what's even the point of them? You gotta find uh, new builds so you can see what's going on underneath your house. Wow, is there a giant hole here? What's in that giant hole? Would you would you know that? It's another version of my house. Okay, so I could keep up the joke all day, but we are destroying the Let's Play world today, not in its normal form, but instead as a copy. The reason that we have these signs right here telling you about when it was formed, as well as giving you some gear or some food if you really want it, the reason that this exists is because I am putting the Let's Play world onto the marketplace. If you want to support uh, the channel while also uh, getting a copy of this world, perhaps if you want to blow it up, you can do precisely that. And today I have downloaded a copy of the world so we can blow it up without any consequences to the main thing because a cool thing about buying anything on the marketplace is you get a template that you can use over and over again whenever you want. If you really want to destroy my signs because you think they're garbage and you just dislike cats, I don't know why so many are dying today, but if you if you want to destroy my signs, you can do that. Do you think that banks are greedy places that uh, you know shouldn't exist? Do you know what you can totally do in Minecraft? Using my TNT and my gunpowder if you want to, you can go in here, you can place some of that. You should probably do it a bit more effectively than this. Actually not, use it as a way to kill, uh, you know, like uh, zombies. Why not, you know, what's what's gonna go bad with that? <laughs> you know, do you wanna see what's underneath my bank? Wow, there are no blocks down here. Wow, that's kind of interesting. You can totally destroy the world. And today we're gonna get some catharsis by destroying as many parts of it as possible by giving you a tour of my world and then blowing things up as we go around it. Although I'm gonna need a lot more TNT, I'm realizing. So we're gonna, gonna draw in as much gum powder as we can from across the world. As I show you that that uh, area we just spawned in was my spawn building, deliberately designed to track people in if they didn't have missions. The thing you saw over there is my main house. Yes, it is deliberately ugly. I mean, even more so now. This is a bank that doesn't have any real purpose, but I'm I'm sure one day having a vault in Minecraft will make more sense again like it used to. And uh, then we've got this right here, which is my armory, where I keep all of my enchantments and incredibly enchanted gear. I mean, if you're wondering where I keep all of the stuff, then na now you know, right? And uh, if you also don't like that stuff, if you think iron swords are a dumb thing to keep, do you know how you can punish me for that? Light some TNT in here. Also, you're not. I don't like bookcase cases either. I think learning is dumb. Get rid of all the bookcases, get rid of all the learning, blow it all up and make it permanently gone. Uh, it, there's something about this that is like genuinely physically hurting me. Like, oh no, my! <laughs> it took me so long to get all those pickaxes and now all it takes is... Also, how did you spawn here so fast? Um, it took me so long to get all the... Oh man, there were lots of skeletons up there apparently. But it took me so long to get all these pickaxes and now in just a swift blow of TNT, it's all gone. You ever wonder what it looks like when you put TNT to a mega beacon? I wouldn't have actually guessed this much destruction would have happened, but you can disable an entire mega beacon in just a few short TNT bursts. Kind of cool to know. You ever want to set a bunch of cows free? I mean, there's two ways you can set a bunch of cows free. And you know, the way more fun version is to let them free by, uh, you know, taking them to a better place. You know, they're going to prefer cow heaven much more than they prefer cow regular existence, right? I mean, the fact that they're running into the corners, that means they're really enjoying what's happening right here. So let's just uh, make sure they can continue to enjoy all of these great privileges. Wow, is, isn't this delightful, seeing what's underneath the cow farm. Also, wow, the fact that 14 TNT is enough to kill this many cows and you know get this amount of XP. Maybe we should be using TNT more often, I'm just saying. You get raw meat, but you know, that's fine. We can cook that, get experience later, but uh, it's so much easier to pick up everything else this way. You know, TNT, it's the way of the future. <laughs> 
Do you think that church is a bad thing? Well, good thing that this isn't a church. Very explicitly, it is It is not a church. No church taking place over here, friendo. Uh, zero, zero church or any religious symbols. Wow. Is that maybe a, a consequence of being a marketplace? No, this is this is definitely just a building where I fight the wither underneath sometimes. And that's why it looks vaguely like a church, but is distinctly not a church. And uh, anyway, you know, make it, making all these jokes about blowing things up. It's fun. It's very satisfying when you blow up the really weak blocks like Neverack and Dirt. Uh, don't get me wrong. But uh, you might be curious as to like, you know, it's been eight years. Like, what's the scoop of that? Uh, eight years is a huge milestone for like anything. I know it seems weird to like celebrate it for a Minecraft world to some people. But honestly, this is something that I've played without fail every single week. Uh, for those eight years. Like, are there many things that you can do for eight weeks without, uh, you know, like, getting bored of them or something like that? I don't think that there are. I think, uh, you know, even though it feels weird to celebrate things that aren't widely celebrated, like, everyone acknowledges, like, yeah, your birthday or Christmas or whatever the main events are. Um, but honestly, the things that are most important to you don't have to line up with the things that are most important to the people around you. That's, that's A-OK. -okay. If you want to celebrate, um, you know, like, eight years of something, and if your way of celebrating is by destroying that thing, that is entirely fine. That is a thing we should accept more and more. And having a, you know, and sometimes it seems like milestones as a whole are kind of pointless because what's even the point in any of them? I mean, aren't milestones just an arbitrary number of times the sun has gone around something? And yeah, that is totally true to an extent, but because so much of our world, you know, like if you just see life as a series of days and weeks, it can, it can fly past without you realizing how much time has passed. Every year, you know, every anniversary of every event is an opportunity to reflect on like, oh yeah, we had a whole 365 days or eight times 365 days since uh, this kind of came about. Oh, this is, this is going to be a fun one. I'm looking forward to this. I get to destroy an active minecart. Oh, this is this is going to be great. I want to detonate both these at the same time. Look at this beautiful destruction. All these hoppers, all this. Oh, man. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's what I was going for. I've upset a dog, but otherwise things are great. Um, and yeah, basically, uh, I, I think it's eight years. It's a huge milestone. And it's cool that this milestone happens to line up with very soon to be the release of this on the marketplace. If you're curious about that, it is coming real soon. It's just being looked over by uh, the Microsoft hands right now. Uh, it's been it's been in their hands for a very, very long time. It's a huge map to review. There is just so much to go through. Like, even if I wanted, you know, there's so much in this map. Even if I wanted to destroy it all, I physically couldn't. Like, oh, do you want to destroy the creeper farm? Because, you know, it's a... It's a farm for creepers, so it'd be ironic if we destroyed our TNT. We can. We we physically don't even have the TNT to destroy everything, but it's beautiful to look around and try anyway, right? Actually, you know, cool benefit of the fact that this is a copy of the world, something you can do with templates. A template which, by the way, this will be regularly updated with new copies of the Let's Play, because this this world, you know, if whatever you want to call it, it's to me it's a fun thing to play if it's a... If it's something that has some meaning to you, this will be updated regularly, and that means you can regularly download a new template. And if you want to, because it's just a copy, to be 100% clear, we can hop into Creative. We can break the one rule of, of Minecraft survival, you know, of like, especially like the way I play Minecraft. The one rule of Minecraft survival is you never hop into Creative. If you want to hop into Creative for the purpose of like, actually, you know, it'd be real satisfying placing a bunch of TNT and lighting it. You can. I, you know, I, I would say there are, you know, like many. <laughs> <laughs> more productive things you can do, but sometimes destruction is productive. Also, it's weird to see the TNT float until you detonate it. It's because it's a block right now, but it turns into an entity. But it's still very strange to see, like, ooh, that's two TNTs in the same block right there. <laughs> Wasn't that satisfying? Oh my god. T TNT, it's such a primal form of fun, but you can still do it regardless. And uh, yeah, for the eight years of playing this world, I've come to learn a lot about not only what I like about Minecraft, like, there are many, many projects I attempt, even though there are things that I know would get, like, many, many uh, views. Or, like, And I know that, like, my building style isn't for everyone. My style of weird projects and doing map boards and stuff like this, it's not for, for most people. Um, they, by the way, this is all some explorable, in survival, starting in a few weeks' time, one would hope. Uh, again, as soon as it's gone through the, the Microsoft review process. But um, the interesting thing about, uh, you know, playing Minecraft in this time is I've learned about what I like about the game. But also you learn a few things about like, huh, so why is it the, you know, the things that I don't like, what does that teach me? Minecraft really can teach you a lot about what you like and you, you know how you, how you are as a person. And it's insane that a game I have changed as a fundamental human being. Uh, seven and a half years ago, I'd be starting a Let's Play over here. I sounded different, not only because of mic equipment, but I, I sounded different 
I was a different person. My wants, my desires, my needs, they were all very different things. And to see your growth in the form of a Minecraft world, I mean, again, it feels weird to talk about growth while I'm doing, like, arguably a pretty immature thing of just enjoying detonating TNT all over the world. But, um, <laughs> oh no, the cat was blown up again. You know, there's a lot of cats in my world. I didn't realize just how many there were. But, like, um, you, you start to realize some of the things that you missed. You, you get some nostalgia for certain things, and you get a strong desire not to do certain other things. Like, oh yeah, certain things are great. Certain uh, builds we've made were really fun. The Insane Ship Game Farm, I still think, like, man, I wish there was a reason to extend it or something like that. I mean, I could probably make one, but the, <laughs> there's not there's not a particularly compelling case as to why I should expand the Insane Ship Game Farm. But you know what there is a compelling case for? There's a compelling case for destroying this. <laughs> you better believe it. And, uh, but yeah, I, I really think that there is this, this growth that happens. And uh, if you don't, like, spot the growth, if you don't, like, actively keep an eye on it, you won't, you might not even necessarily know what's happening. And is that a tragedy? Maybe, maybe not. It depends if you want to grow as a human being um, or not. But it's still very interesting to look at and to aspire into. You know, let's go to sleep in my bed. How long does TNT take to detonate? Do you think I can sleep in the time it takes? You know, there's only one way to know for sure, right? Here is a bed. Here is some TNT. I'm going to be very quick about this one. Go! Okay, come on! <laughs> okay, did that work in time? I feel like it's very close if it wasn't. Ah, darn. You cannot sleep in the time it takes to detonate TNT, which is honestly the real tragedy that no one ever talks about. Why, why won't we mention that? So let's go to my third house. So I've been, I've shown you Brick House, I've shown you Cave House. I had grand, like, here's an example of something I learned about myself. I spent, like, you know, many, many days working on this giant castle. I get it, you, you probably don't like my castle building. I feel, I don't play Minecraft the same as everyone else, okay? Is that, is that clear? I hope that's clear by now. Um, but, like, I spent many, many days, and I, I don't think you should have to play Minecraft some way. I think, I think any YouTuber, any person, what just happened there? Any person who enforces the narrative that, like, you have to play the way that I think is correct, and my idea of what's good and bad building is the only way. It's like, no, you build what you want, man. You you do what you need to do. That's that's the ultimate thing. What this is all about. Like, if you if you're not uh, enjoying yourself, uh, then you know, are you? Then I would I would argue if you're not enjoying yourself, you're the one not playing Minecraft correctly. Um, and if anyone tries to encourage you not to enjoy yourself, they don't understand what video games really are all about. But um, yeah. So I, I, one of the things I thought was like, oh yeah, I'll build this beautiful wonderful house. I built it, like I built this huge floating lake on a mountaintop. I built a giant floating castle. I thought it would look good because it's like perfectly balanced on the peak. It's not actually perfectly balanced. Maybe that's why it's ugly. Maybe it's just a bad idea. I don't know for sure. But I put a lot of effort into this castle. Um, I even tried to make it good by traditional standards, sort of, if you ignore the, the turrets being <laughs> entirely differently shaped for no good reason. But um, then I just never came to live here because I don't care about having a big house. And the fact that it took so much effort to get over here, the fact that it had so many rooms, which is great, like I can have, I can have a giant furnace room with an auto furnace even, by the way, but like, what use is it if you don't you know, ever want to use it? The answer is none. There is no use for an auto furnace room. I had a front room, I had target practice, I had so many things, but those aren't things I intend to do in Minecraft. Having, having things that you don't benefit from, that you don't value, isn't useful. You, uh, there's a point where you come to realize in the world that like, you know, Having lots of things is great, but having things that you care about and that you want, that's the thats the real greatness. Uh, this is starting to sound like minimalist, minimalist propaganda at this point, but like, no, I i, I think um, having a lot of stuff, like keeping, th there's two kind of principles to everything I do in Minecraft. I want to have like an efficient way to do things if I can, or deliberately inefficient, just because it, it, it makes the same point if you're being sarcastic, talking about the opposite of your view, than if you're actually just talking about your view. But, um, you know, like, I, I think there's... Oh, Christ. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I, there's a really great point that, um, you know, that, that the thing to me that I, I see from all of this is, like, I love not only, like, kind of realizing the builds I don't want. I don't want giant builds for a house because it's not useful. I don't need all that space. Um, giant builds for a farm is fine because, like, it enhances the look of it. And, you know, like, this giant build right here, this Death Star or half Death Star that I turned into a group farm. There's only one point in this I ever need to go to, and it's right over here. You know, I'll mark it with some TNT, shall I? Right over, actually, I stand in this box right here, which I'll mark with some TNT. This is the only point that I ever need to be at, so it's not actually a very big build. When you have big builds, your most of that space is pure decoration, 
And you kind of need to know that going into it. Like, you know, my Let's Play house is perfectly sized. Maybe even too big. A lot of people are like, you know, what? <laughs> what's the deal with this? Um, having big houses in Minecraft looks great for decoration reasons, but it's all about what you do. It's like this, even, even you know, this statue of myself, which I'll admit, a little bit conceited to build, a little bit over the top to have a statue. You know how I can fix that? I can blow it up. And, uh, you know, the reason I never do this in my real life, the reason this is a copy and the reason I'm making a grand point about how you can do this too if you really want to, is not a weird marketing pitch, although, you know, is is it good marketing to show a world that you could blow up yourself? I'm not sure if that is. Um, but <laughs> look, now it's now it's a headless ocelot. That, that right there is not conceited anymore, and therefore I'm okay to do it. But uh, it's all about usable space. It's all about what you need for something. And uh, yeah, it's a valuable lesson. I guess I've learned from everything else. And you know what? Take out the minimalist strikes back. I, I think stuff weighs you down for some extent. I think the more things that you own, the more like stuff you have to carry around. Like It's like if you, when, whenever you move house, you have to move all that stuff. And you're like, oh, I have so much garbage that I totally don't want or need. Like If there's no cost to having something, of course we've had all the things you want in the world. But um, everything you know in Minecraft is the ultimate rule. Every block, with very few exceptions, has to be placed by hand. Even in creative, as I'm placing these TNT, I can use commands, but like, you know, like right now, doing it by hand. When you're playing survival, every block is placed by hand. That is how you have to do things. By the way, this is my wood farm, or wood factory. Um, it's, it's not something I use too often, but every now and then it comes in super handy. Uh, fortunately, I've got a lot of stone now. This is this is a weird project I did for. I honestly have forgotten the reason. I just wanted a nice cave going down to bedrock because of the way bedrock renders stuff low down. You just see like an endless void, which is kind of cool. Um, but uh, yeah, one of the one of the real valuable uh, lessons to me is that like everything has like a cost. There is an opportunity cost to placing any block in Minecraft and not placing it somewhere else. And uh, therefore, you don't have to do things just because you're doing things. You can take some time, sit back, work out what it is you want to do. Um, and, oh yeah, look at this. This is going to be satisfying. Watch the swords get destroyed. No more jewels happening here, I think you'll find. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You know what's going to be really great to do? This is my museum over here, this very ugly building. See, this is this is what happens when I try to follow traditional building guidelines. <laughs> this is... Like to me, this is the ugliest thing in the world. I, if anyone disagrees, I, I, you know, that's that's fine. You know, that's that's okay. But also, I, I don't understand that position. Um, so this is my 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 museum. I was collecting every block at one point. I've collected every food, which was kind of fun actually. I enjoyed that little side project uh, journey. I've uh, got this little dinosaur exhibit because bone blocks are new, and I thought, wow, I better make a dinosaur from all the pieces. Like I put the ribs in there, the tail, the it was, it was a dumb idea, okay, I, we know that, that's that's cool. I've got all the paintings, which is really useful for text pack reviews, although two of them are missing for reasons I'm not sure I can tell you. You know, if, if two of them are going to be missing, they might as well all be missing. That's my new philosophy. And then, you know, finally I've got the green screen room for making thumbnails or whatever. And then I've got this, uh, which is a rare mob collection. So I don't know how many rare mobs I even have right now. I think it's just the Charge Creeper and the Elder Guardian. I think I'd love to get a Warden after that update. But you know what's going to be satisfying? These rare mobs, although charge creepers aren't so rare anymore, but rare mobs, yeah, let's kill them. You know what? Elder Guardian, you have made me suffer one too many times. Yeah, you are going down. You are gone forever, friend. Oh, that is that is satisfying to, to finally do, right? Um, you know what? Let, let's set fire to more of this thing. Let, let's watch the museum burn for a little bit. So as this burns, so beautifully as it does, um, allow me to just talk a little bit about the fact that one of the, you know, I, I admit most people don't play Minecraft on the same survival world for eight years in a row. When most people go back to a 10 year old world or something, it's like, oh, I played this and then I stopped playing it. That's how most people play Minecraft and that's fine. I never want to shame people into playing it my way. I think playing on one world is a great way. It's a rewarding thing. I totally recommend if you're watching this video, you do it. There's a bunch of seeds out there, even on this channel, if you want to start one or you can start fresh and brand new and no one's going to stop you. That's A-OK. -okay. Um, but one of the things that you realize uh, about a world like this, if you do decide to do that, which is fine if you're not, is you're kind of forced to confront what you used to do many years ago. You you know, I, I've, I've changed how I've played Minecraft, but I've also changed as a human being uh, so much over the years that I've been making these videos uh, from the Update Adventures episode one all the way to episode 475 or whatever. Like there are, uh, we're coming up on 500, huh? 
that's that's pretty cool. But um, <laughs> you know, like these, um, you know, I've, I've been forced to realize that obviously things are changing. Uh, there's a lot of changes happening. Um, and uh, you know, like looking at like my old playstyle, being forced to confront it and look at it and be like, oh yeah, uh, it's very different now than it is then. And it again, knowing that you're growing is a very valuable thing. It's so weird to see fire on half slabs, but knowing that you're growing is a valuable thing on the one level, but it's also an incredibly useful thing to look at and evaluate because a lot of us try and endlessly compare ourselves to other people. Um, you know, like as a YouTuber, uh, you know, I'm sure like one of the things a lot of people try and force you to do is make, make you make unhealthy comparisons of them. Like, here's this awesome thing I did. Why aren't you doing it too? Why can't you do as well as I did personally? Although, I guess with me, I don't think there's any fear that people will look at my stuff and wish they could do what I did. But um, <laughs> look how ugly this village is. Look how ugly this mountain is. But, um, and, and, and this building right here, I, I built this seven and a half years ago. What was I thinking? Why bricks, then cobblestone, then birch, then oak? What what was the logic? But um, ignoring my questionable, faulty logic, um, you can, you know, when you look back, uh, the best thing to compare yourself to is yourself, ultimately. It's really easy to get caught up in the comparison game of everyone else. And, you know, there are valuable human places where we need to do that. But the most valuable comparison you can ever make, the most important comparison you'll ever make, is between yourself now and your past self. We're not all perfect, and some of us will never be. Um, obviously not me. You know, I'm, I'm, of course I'm perfect. But, like, most people will, will are, are not perfect. Most people are fundamentally flawed. And to look at someone who looks like they're perfect, who in reality is just on social media hiding the imperfections, uh, will make you feel bad about yourself, about your Minecraft builds, about anything else. And I think that's why you just need to compare yourself with yourself. As long as you are growing better as a person over time, uh, that's the number one most important thing. You can always judge yourself compared to other people. But those other people, you know, have a lot of different things different to you. But the only perfect comparison is you to you. And so if there's any message to take from this, it's done. You know, don't fall into the game of feeling awful and bad and like you need X thing to fix it. Uh, and oh, wow, cool YouTuber did this. So I have to do that too. Um, the a key message I always want to make is like, uh, compare yourself first and foremost to yourself. And if you do that, you'll have a much better time. Uh, than the people who get caught up in a game of like, this is this is the one way to build, this is the one way to play, this is the one way to do anything. Because uh, as someone who's on the opposite side of that sometimes, uh, in the moment it always feels like, yeah, actually, why am I not making mega mansions just for the sake of having a pretty mansion because houses are popular? Why am I, you know, why, why do I have such weird dysfunctional uh, builds? But the only thing is like, I had fun making it. I can look back on it and I can realize I've grown. And the projects I do are genuinely so fun. Collecting every block in Minecraft was enjoyable as heck. Trying, you know, collecting that Elder Guardian, rest in peace, Elder Guardian, uh, was a fun little task. Like this museum is a really genuinely fun thing. Even if it's ugly, I have so much fun collecting all the food types in Minecraft. If you want a challenge, try that. I think Minecraft and life is about challenging yourself. You know, I, I can't challenge you. I can challenge you to like this video, um, it's so hard, I know. Can you do it? Can you do it? It's it's really hard, but, <laughs> you know, I, I, I can challenge you in so many different ways, right? But the ultimate thing is, like, challenging yourself is what it's all about. And that's what this world has always been to me. It's been the challenge of playing Minecraft, of making more and bigger and hopefully better things than I have built in the past. Uh, most of the things I build are not going to hold up to anyone's standards, but that's okay. Um, you know, should I leave? I should burn this down in my real world too. I feel like it looks better burnt down than it did not burnt down. And maybe, like, we, we at least if we, like, if we burn it down in the real Let's Play world, we could pretend that it was a fire. And before the fire, it looked great. It's like, oh, there was, there was a griefer or something. So we can't, isn't your world single player only? Oh yeah, there was a griefer. Could it be, could have been anyone. I just, I just don't know who did it. Oh, it's a shame. Like it, it, it's a tragedy that my build genuinely looks so much better now it's burnt down. But, you know what? Maybe that's just me. Maybe you disagree. I would love to hear your thought. But let's quickly go into the never, shall we? Um, I think that's a fun idea. Oh, our uh, never portal got exploded. Better explode it some more. I bet that. Wait, how did the cat just spawn on top of that? Please, please get out of the way, mittens. Please run, run, run. Okay, he's, he's running away. We're good. Uh, let's let's go to the other side of my world. Let's get through a never portal. 
there's a lot of weird stuff that I don't think a lot of people have ever seen in this world, by the way. Like at one point, I attempted to make one of those like never portals that blended into a mountain. I never lit it for whatever reason. I wonder why. Oh, it's just slightly too big to light. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's that's such a wacky thing, actually. I have just this giant unlit nether portal. I have these weird bridges. I have all this redstone on the mountain. I, look look at this bridge here. What purpose does this bridge <laughs> have? Um, I think uh, I, I think there are so many fun challenges you can attempt in Minecraft. Uh, I, I think farms can be a part of that, as long as you're not the guy who's like, well, I did it, and now everyone has to do it the same. Um, but ultimately, Minecraft is a game about playing and challenging and having fun with yourself. If you want to build a, uh, a, a a never temple, I still, I actually, I really like this. You can do that. If you want to build a soul sand never what farm, you need to get more soul sand like I do, clearly. We should finish that sometime. There's a lot of things I need from my to finish list after this. But um, yeah, the, the only thing about Minecraft is make your own challenges, have your own projects, uh, don't be inspired or demotivated based on uh, what anyone tells you to do. And ultimately, you can apply that to the rest of your life too. The number of people who get caught up in, like, oh yeah, if YouTuber does this in their once a week YouTube videos, that must be their entire life. No, most people live. I mean, if there's anything we've learned about 2020 and like the vlogging era, it's like, oh, most vloggers can't live like that always. Or like, oh man, I. This is still, to me, like one of the coolest projects whenever I look at it. See, this is something I am proud of when I look back at it. I covered my never in snow and ice. It took so long, but the end result is cool. Like, I am... This is a big growth from my museum. And, um... But to tell anyone that, like, you have to attempt this. If you don't cover your never in snow, you're lame and you'd suck. And <laughs> then I, I think that's the, the worst thing. I think we should focus on building each other up. Congratulating each other's on the small wins rather than trying to take away, uh, you know, the big wins. But that's just me personally. Let me know what you think in the comments. But for now, uh, thank you so much for joining me on this eight year adventure. I hope there are many more years. I hope we can look back in another eight years from now and be like, huh, yeah, remember that video? Um, to all of you who've been around for any amount of the last eight years, thank you so much for joining the channel. Uh, my appreciation to you for making this all possible in the slightest is endless, an amount I genuinely can't describe. Like, I, 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 I think regularly about how I can thank people without seeming disingenuous. And I, I, I never know what it is, because all YouTubers thank their subscribers, because that's what YouTubers do. You're like, oh yeah, thank you guys for making this happen, you, you suckers, or whatever else. But um, no, I've had so much fun uh, over these last eight years, and I love, uh, you know, I, I sometimes worry, like, would I have had the motivation to continue? were it not for seeing all these people enjoying what I'm doing. So in a way, th the last eight years have been partially inspired by you. I don't want to destroy these islands, but like, I'm so attached to these things because they're pretty recent. I'm like, you know, I can't do it, but let's destroy one island anyway. It should be really destructible because it's made from snow and ice, but let's see if that's true. Let's see if it just, okay, it's, it's definitely true. It's all gone besides two blocks. <laughs> but no, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it, and I hope that I see you over the next eight years sometime. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in eight years from now when we blow up the world again, and we laugh about how bad my opinions were this time. I'm gonna look back and be like, you know what? I used to think that people could have their own opinions. No, it turns out people have bad opinions only. There's only one way to build, and it's building mansions like me. Let's, let's hope that's not true. But do you know what is true? Minecraft is the game where no one can tell you what you can and cannot do.